So this is where Neptune fits in. Uh, we sit in the center of uh, gluing experimentation environments, uh, production environments, and uh, deployment pipelines. Uh, how we position ourselves is uh, that we provide data set versioning, experiment tracking, and model versioning capabilities because this is exactly what's needed in order to have a platform that allows you to analyze, uh, explore, and uh, collaborate on your model building uh, processes. So just to be on the same uh, terminology, we expose uh, two parts to our end users. One of them is Neptune's Python library, which is responsible for taking in the metadata and sending it to Neptune's servers. And then we have a Neptune server, which exposes Neptune, Neptune's web interface. And the server itself, not the server, but the, the, the web interface itself is composed of three layers. At the very top, we have a workspace, which is kind of a organization inside of your organization. Usually you only would have a need to have one, but if you have very strict security requirements, you might have uh, a few for some isolation purposes. In a workspace, you have projects, and project in uh, Neptune is very simple to experiment would be in MLflow. So a good idea is uh, to think about it as a single machine learning use case. So for example, if you're training a uh, recommender system that composes of uh, pre-ranking and ranking models, you might want to store them both in a single project because a project scope is where it is easiest to compare metadata uh, against different runs that have been logged to this uh, project. And of course, then you have runs, and run is a single experiment. Um, so if you're using a different um, model architecture or set of hyperparameters, or a data set that you used for training your models, you would create a new run for each of these cases. 